Hello YouTube, Mind Bender here, and today we're going to be doing a video review on something that's not quite a transformer, just something I kind of threw together casually one day, uh, but I thought you guys still might find it a little interesting, so here we are. So this little guy right here is what I like to call the Foot Soldier. Now the Foot Soldier doesn't have a very complicated build, so before we get started looking into it, I thought I'd just real quick show you guys how to build one. So here are the pieces you're going to need, not too many. They're all uh, Bionicle Technic pieces, aside from these, uh, these are the only real Lego pieces involved. But as you can see, these are the pieces, nothing too hard to, nothing too hard to come by, so that's actually the beauty of these things, is they're not that hard to build, so they're really good for army building. So if you want to bulk up your army of some kind with some expendable troops, these are the guys to do it with. So to start off, you're going to need two feet. Um, it really, for the concept to work, you need like these kind of toa feet. You're going to need a couple of these limbs right here. Plug one into each foot. Like so. Got the legs right here. Next, you're going to take a pair of these pieces right here. Plug one into the top of each leg. Ah, there we go. Just like that. Next, you're going to take your little uh, connector bit right here. Three slots, uh, that is three slots long. Attach it to one of the legs. Now you're going to take one of these pieces right here. And you're going to slide that across and then connect those together. So that's where you're at right now. Next you're going to want to take this piece right here which is five slots wide and you want to make sure you slide that right through the um, yeah I guess that would be the left foot. And so there you go. Now you got them staying like that. Then you just got to build the back cannon. So you take another one of these, set them off to the side, take another one of these, another pin that's about I believe eight slots wide. It doesn't really matter so much for this, you know, just whatever you think looks nice. Then you just slide these pieces on and slide on the tip of the barrel. And then you connect it just like so. And there you have your very own fully functional foot soldier. And once you've got your foot soldier built, the best thing to do is build more of them. These things are meant to be built in a team because by themselves, they are none too threatening. I recommend the best to get the best use out of the concept, build about six. You see, I got a team of six right here, but right about now you're probably wondering what is the concept behind these guys, and the answer is combining. I know a lot of you guys have wanted me to build a combiner for some time, and... I'll admit this is not a full Transformers Devastator style combiner, but these guys do combine in a lot of different ways and that's what makes them fun. They are kind of built around the same concept as my Omnicon review that I did a, f a while back, you know, that they can uh, adapt to whatever situation they are required to uh, adapt to. And rather than shift form like the Omnicons did, they can combine into whatever they need. So in their base form like this, I call this just the scout version. I call the, you know, I call them foot soldiers because, you know, they're a pair of legs with a gun, but this by itself, I just call a scout. But if you get two scouts, you can make a soldier. And to make the soldier, you're going to take the legs and twist them like so. Then you're going to take the other foot, twist it around and bring it up so it just sits right like that and then bring the gun around and that's one half of a soldier do the same thing to the other bit and then you're going to slide this piece down bring this around and then connect them and now you have a soldier. The soldier class foot soldier is uh, obviously two drones put together but rather than just being a gun with on a pair of legs he kinda has a head I guess but he's also got two individual arms, two legs, 
and just an overall more humanoid look to him. And actually, like I said before that they're not really Transformers, but just fiddling around with the, this guy, I kind of found that if you straighten these pieces out, turn the legs around and connect them, and just kind of slide the pin in, like so, then bring the legs, I keep everything straight, bring the legs down like so, and then fold the cannons down. You can kind of make like a uh, little Cybertronian hover tank or something. So if you if you really if you absolutely need something to transform, there you go. Soldier class can transform, and actually technically drone class can too, if you really want to stretch it. Put the legs together. Fold them around like so. And make a little flying cannon. So, you know, I mean, like I said, they're made for army building. So you can get your little army vehicles and your foot soldiers to back them up. So that's kind of where the fun of these guys is, is that they're very versatile, very good for building, you know, just bulking up any kind of army you may or may not be building. So next up, if you take three scouts, you can build what I call Defender Class. To start out making Defender Class, you're going to take the legs, rotate them around, rotate the feet back forward, do the same thing on the other side. You're going to combine the feet together, and you're going to fold the drone body up, like so. So you should have this kind of assembly right here. Set that off to the side, bring in the next drone, and you do something a little different. Yeah, you start out the same way, but this time you're going to take this pin, you're going to push it as far as you can, then you're going to grab it, and you're going to keep pulling it until you almost pull it out. So it's sitting right in there. Then when you combine the feet, the pin goes all the way through the foot and then it's the same as before and you'll have the reverse component setting that off to the back then it's real simple you just take the third drone flip his legs around flip around the cannon fold the cannon up like that compact it a little bit then you just get this drone standing like so then you take the two components and the pin is going to go right into these these holes right here. So you put one on that side and one on that side. And then you've got a Defender Class Foot Soldier. And I call this one Defender Class because it's just big, it's bulky, and nothing's getting past it. So like I said earlier in this review, the main draw to these guys is that they're just they're absolutely pure play factor and army building goodness I mean if you want a bunch of expendable troops you just break them down into six scouts if you want a little more threatening like an attack squad you can build up six scouts into three soldier class and if you just need something big and mean you take three scouts and you build yourself a defender class so they're really fun, they're really versatile, it's fun to mess around with them and combine them. Like, here, these are the three main functions that I've made up for them, but obviously with any kind of concept like this, you can just mess around and make your own, figure out your own way of doing things. So, if you have the pieces to build them, I absolutely would encourage you guys to try it out for yourself, because they are a lot of fun in my opinion. But uh, for now, guys, I guess that's it. So this has been Mindbender. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, feel free to subscribe. And don't forget, I have a uh, Q&A video coming up. If you want to leave a question that you want me to answer, Lego-related or not, just any old question you wanted, you've, uh, you feel like you want to ask me personally, I've got a Q&A video up that I will link to in the description below. And that video will give more details, and you can write any question you want me to answer in the, content, in the uh, comment section below. So until next time, guys, this has been Mindbender, and I'd like to thank you all for watching.